Hey everyone, one day we're going to get chairs that are the same height. Why? <laughs> uh, this is Sister Wives Season 15. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get my notes. 15, Episode 2. Uh, let's see. Felons No More. So, uh, I just really dragged. I did not want to watch this episode. I, I I haven't seen. I want to hear something about the kids. It's like the only it, part it, that people like, but I guess it's too expensive to have them all there. It was a hard episode to watch because it was so boring. It was it was kind of boring, and it was rehashing, and it was like that thing where you're yelling at the at the screen after everything Cody says. It's like, you hey, yell. hey, remember that conversation last season about the one house? Let's just have that again. So yeah. There's your season. With other people who aren't involved. Anyway, so my first thought was, where's the kids? Now the Dargers. I, I was like, I feel like we've met them before, so I looked it up, and apparently in 2012, it looks like maybe the second season or something, they were introduced, and I found old articles that are like, are they the new TLC family? And I guess there was some speculation that they were going to do a show, but eventually they did like a one-hour special. I am wondering if they'll come back, because it seems that polygamy reality shows seem to be our bread and butter on this channel, but there's no indication of it. They're talking to once again about decriminalizing bigamy, which to me is very confusing because we're almost, at this point, we're almost two years behind, at least a year and a half behind. So, like, I'm, I'm a little bit like, did this pass, did this not pass, but I don't feel like code. Anyway, this is the thing that annoys me. So they're like, oh, we're going we're gonna, to um, call Christine because she's working in Phoenix. What? What? You can't, you can't spend five minutes explaining what Christine's doing in Phoenix? Like, that actually sounds kind of interesting. What are the wives doing? Everybody wants to know, what are they doing for money? The assumption, of course, is always that it's TLC money. That they just, that's the only money. But I would actually be interested to know what do Christine's doing working in Phoenix. You know, but they, they don't have time for that. But we got to hear about Cody every second of the day. Anyway. The, yeah, I mean, wouldn't you say Cody talked at least 60% of the episode, at least. I would say, yeah, and I would say the other wives Maybe got... Maybe 80%. <laughs> uh, and a lot of people in last and week's he's thing... Got, he's got nothing interesting to say. Well, I, don't, I don't like my wives. My wives are so annoying. My wives oh, are so, so bossy. They're so my, bossy. They, they don't understand anything. Anyway, we'll get there. I mean, I understand when a marriage is picked for you. Oh, wait. That's not the problem. You're right, he was picked. Well, this is the thing. I said this is why it's so... I think so many people get so frustrated with the show is... I think most people at some point have been in a relationship with someone that doesn't like you anymore. And maybe you don't even like that much anymore. Maybe you do like. I don't know. Mary's but, like the pot dealer who they just can't tell to go away. I don't think that's I mean, like, that, I, know you that, think it's that, funny. I think it is funny and I think it's the truth. It, it's just <laughs> like he's just keeping her around because she's like a trophy. Well, a lot of people say because she's making money. Although LuLaRoe has significantly, I think the company's about to go under they had a whole big problem. So I don't know if she's still making money. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but it does sound like that. But uh, my thing about it is that Cody is someone who wants to be important. We've seen in every episode. One of my favorite episodes is when they went back to his hometown. And some lady who had gone to high school with him is like, yeah, I'm not surprised he's a polygamist. He always had to be the center of attention everywhere he was in I high school. remember that. And so him, like, getting a bunch of wives and then having a bunch of kids, so he's always the center of tension. And a TV makes, show. Makes, yeah, a TV show. Makes so much sense. And I was like, that woman has summed up more eloquently Cody's personality than anything I had seen. And I think of it all the time. And so this is my theory, is that in his community, if someone is from a polygamous community, you can tell if this is true or not, there's a certain amount of, of power and importance around having more wives. And so he had to have more wives than anyone else. And so now he's got four wives, and he doesn't want to lose any of them because that would make him look like a bad polygamist. That's my thing, is that this is about his ego, and this is about his reputation. That, that's just, that's just, that's it the does, lens. It does seem that that's all he's concerned about. Yeah. I haven't heard mention of him about any of the kids recently, have you? Well, yeah, well, kind of. We'll get to it. He does talk about the kids at the wrong time. But when you talk about his problems with his wives, he never says things like, I really miss Christine. I really enjoy Christine. It's always like, Christine's whining. She's ruining my plans. Mary, I don't, you know, we don't have a relationship. Like he's, the, the preview says, if Mary and I wanted to be together, we would. I think Mary's pretty, made it pretty clear that she wants to repair that marriage. <laughs> 
cares? Just <laughs> but anyway, anyway, they have one car. Uh, they need to go and talk to the Duggars in person. Christine's like, why do we got to see them in person? Because TLC's making them. I don't think this is the Duggars. Not the Duggars. Dargers. Okay. Dargers. I know it sounds like the Duggars. Anyway, Dargers. And they all have to go. And Christine's a little bit like, why do I have to go? Why do I, why do I have to get in a car and all go? Anyway, they all have to go. I imagine it's a little bit of TLC wanting them all to go. Maybe this is partially... Cody doesn't want to show up without his, all his wives because it'll look bad for him. I don't know. Anyway, this car trip so clearly is the perfect example. If you were to say, what is their relationship like? You would show them this clip. Because he's... And it's a clip of a dumpster and it's on fire. Fire. And so it starts off with him barking at Christine. And Christine's like, well, we could take two cars. We could take a different car. No, why are you being so difficult? Why are you being so terrible? Cut to Cody and a thing. Why are my wives so difficult? No one must listen to me. Blah, 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 blah. Robin doesn't say a lot right now, except for behind his back. They go and pick up Mary. Mary, like, I guess went to the bathroom for a second. There's a, there's a, there's a, I forgot to mention, there's a flat tire. Christine's like, we should just take another car. Oh, no, 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 it'll only take 20 minutes, to which you said, that's probably I'd just plug it my damn self, but yeah, if you're going anyway. to take it somewhere and it takes more than 20 minutes, you're doing something wrong. Well, anyway, Christine's like, but we can just take it, we just get another car that everything fits better. He's, he's complaining because, you know, oh, I told you guys have to bring stuff, and then he brings boxes and bags and shoes and all that, because he's got to look good. Anyway... She says, let's take another car. He thinks it's a terrible idea and she's undermining him. They go to get Mary. He's yelling at her about how she has to hurry up because the car, the thing's going flat at the moment. And then goes and gets Janelle. Janelle says nothing. She just gets shuffled into the car. They go to the place. They can't fix it right away. And so Robin goes to him and is like, well, what if we just take a different car? And he's like, oh. And he listens to her speak. She's the only one that he actually listens to. Now... Maybe he would have listened to Janelle, but she didn't say anything as, as, as much as they showed us. Now, maybe she said something and he snapped at her as well. But he was like, treated Mary like luggage. Um, uh, yelled at Christine about how she's just trying to ruin his life. Robin says something. He listens to Robin. And then they go and get the minivan. But he's, I mean, he's making it sound like they're climbing Everest in this car. Oh, I have to take this car because of the mountains. They're paved roads and there's no snow. Like... You said you wouldn't take the minivan because you wouldn't want to be seen in a minivan. Dang right. <laughs> which is probably more accurate to his situation. Is that he just doesn't want to be seen driving a minivan. Anyway, but it's like the perfect example of where their marriage is at. Now, I, I every once in a while, and this happens every season, people are like, gosh, Mary had all these problems. Why don't you guys talk about that? Fine. Please go back, watch our old episodes. That's all we ever talked That's about. all we talked about. You can go back and see it. And I'm going to say that... I know a lot of you are really against Robin. There's a certain part of me that goes, it's not really her fault. I'm sorry. If you like anyone on this show other than, you know, the kids are fine. Yeah, the kids are fine. Like, you, maybe you should reevaluate where you are in your life. And sometimes I like Janelle the most of the adults. I like watching their catastrophe unfold on TV. Which is what the show is. But I don't like any of them. Anyway, then they, they cut, and this is the part I, that I don't think they meant to show, but they show him driving away. And the street, so here's like the road. Instead of pulling to his lane, he pulls fully diagonal. So if someone had to make a right-hand turn, he would have been completely blocking the road. And I just thought, that is so typical. Why am I not surprised that he drives like a jerk? Now, I know he's running late and everything, and probably you can see there's no cars. But it was just so like... Oh, what a, what a guy. Anyway, he's complaining about why are my wives all so rude and, and bossy. And it just sets off like that whatever relationship you've been in where you've been with someone and it is long past the point to break up and it just sets off everything in me that's like, oh gosh, this is so terrible. You're trying to tell me something. No, baby, I love you. And like, you know, people go, oh, well, marriage is hard. It is, but I don't think John has ever talk to me that way and if he has it was very short-lived <laughs> and it was immediately called out and we would hash it out and then deal with it so anyway oh anyway and then she's like why can't we just christine goes why can't we just talk to this guy on the phone he's like it's not the same so next time christine wants me over i'm just gonna say i'm gonna talk on the phone i'm like and everybody who's like watching right now it's like Dude, there's a pandemic. <laughs> like, yeah, there is a... Oh, no, 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 no. Zoom the damn thing. I, this was before the pandemic, to I, be fair. I, I, know. I know. but it's hard. It's a hard habit to break. But the other thing I thought is, some strange... Some, some guy is not the same as spending time with your wife. 
right? Well, it is when all you do is bitch about all your wives. You know, right? Anyway, uh, so anyway, they go there. They meet this this guy. Um, now, this is what I would have wanted. This is what I would have paid money to see. And, of course, they wouldn't do it. But I would have loved to have seen if they had cutaways to the confessionals of this family and then being like, they're a mess. Cody doesn't like three of his four wives. I don't... He needs to be in counseling because you can't just call someone a wife That's more and then not spend... Than they'd have oh, I know. Show but could you ever. imagine? Oh, they could have got their own spinoff so fast. Oh. Anyway, that's what I would have liked to have seen, is them actually talking truthfully about, like, you know, anything. Anyway, uh, this guy, which is really confusing if you watch the episode, he has a full beard in the episode, and then when you cut away to the confessional, he is, he's shaved. And I don't know whether they, like, went away and then were like, we need to do some pickup footage, we're going to come back. And he's like, oh, well, I shaved my beard. And they're like, ah, no, don't worry about it. Yeah, I didn't understand why there were just four wives in a row. No, no. husband. Oh, he, he, first of all, he did not like a woman. No. No. But anyway, he, whoever, whatever his name is, I didn't even bother to listen. He's talking about how he wants his own bedroom. And this is something that I do agree with Robin. She's made this point repeatedly over the last year, which is she's like, you know, if I have to deal with only having you one out of three days, although it does seem like he spends more than one out of three days at Robin's house. Um... And, you know, I have to deal with controlling, managing my jealousy about the other wives. You can deal with sharing a bedroom. And I do think it's like, it, you know, it's like finally someone's kind of, kind of calling him out on how he just thinks that everything should be done to his pleasure. He gets to go to the wives whenever he wants, all that. Anyway, so I do agree with Robin about this. And I do think that a lot of people kind of blame Robin for everything. But I kind of feel like she can't make Cody. And she does try. But she can't make Cody be nice with other wives. Although I will say that you do see consistently her trying and trying to run interference. I know it bothers a lot of people, but I think that I think it getting so mad at Robin pulls focus off Cody. Just my personal opinion. How do you feel? I don't like anybody. Okay, fair enough. Uh, but I do say is that when when Cody talks about the single the single house, what he says is I want access to all my kids every day. Doesn't mention the wives. Doesn't talk about like. Because I don't think he, I don't think he cares. I mean, it's clear if he could not go to Christine's, he'd be happy. He's mentioned it in two out of two episodes this season about how he's always in the phone at her house because he doesn't want to be there. And then the, he made the, the snide remark about how, oh, well, next time she wants me to come over, I'm just going to call her on the phone. I think it's pretty clear he doesn't. So he's not at Mary's house. Christine's on the way out. I mean, anyway. And then he outs the whole group to Christine as the one who doesn't want to have a... The, the one house. Uh, totally the right thing to do if you want a good relationship. Christine says, we still, Cody and I still haven't talked about it. I'm like, still haven't talked about it? He announced it on Christmas. And this is late summer, early fall. I don't, I'm, I'm guessing based on a few uh, context clues. Well, honey, they have such a deep relationship. They can't just talk about everything all the time. I, it's just it's so weird to me. It's like, we don't go more than like four hours without talking about something. <laughs> And I just mean something, like if something comes up, and I'm not even, this is not like some brag, it's just I don't know how you live with people and not, like maybe a week. A lot of people live with people they don't like. That's I, not our problem. Yeah. Half the kids are gone at this point. So this idea of like, you know, anyway. And then he's like, why don't my, my wives want to live together? Oh, have you considered watching this episode and seeing how it went with the car? How every time Christine tried to bring something up, he shot her down. You told Mary to just I'm hush sure up. I'm sure he's watched it. And oh, look how good I look. Oh, look at my hair. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I'm then so only right. listens I'm to so Robin. Right. If you want to know why I don't want to live together, just watch the episode and go. Is he treating all four wives equal? I mean, that's even a ridiculous thing to say because we know he doesn't visit Mary or hasn't had any sort of. And she's been like, what if I kiss you? What if we hold hands? What if you come over and we have dates? You know what I mean? And, like, even when they went and they tried to do counseling, he, like, came from someone's house and then left without her. Like, couldn't even be like, okay, now we're going to go talk and have some time together. Change her name to Doormat. And then he talks about how, oh, a puppet master with these four women. And Mary's like, okay, well, don't, don't, don't drag me into this about being a puppet master. I mean, basically what she said is, we, I mean, basically she might as well have said, we haven't had sex in four years, so I don't know what kind of strings you think I'm pulling. But... It just kind of was like, and then he's, and that's when Robin jumped in, and I think she really did 
I know, I know, it's like sacrilegious to say anything nice about her, but I really, I just kind of feel like too much of the blame is lying on her as opposed to the only person who can fix his relationship with his wives, which is him. Anyway, oh, anyway, they were talking about being felons, and they were talking about how they could all go to jail, and I was just like, they would have a hard time convicting Mary <laughs> as a sister wife. I mean, just based, first of all, there's footage, so I could just see her lawyer being like, while they, while Mary calls herself a sister wife, she is not in fact a sister wife. You can call yourself a burglar, doesn't mean that you can actually be convicted of it. She hasn't, he hasn't spent the night at his house, they haven't any, had any sort of uh, relationship that is any different than say his sister because he hasn't kissed her, <laughs> he hasn't, he maybe gives her a side hug. I mean, so I, I would actually like to see, I don't actually want this to happen, but if theoretically they did have to go to court to prove that he was a polygamist, I don't think Mary would be convicted. I, th I think I think they would say that she was not in fact a sister wife and she has not acted in that role while she might have at one point been. She has not in the past four years and that they couldn't convict her on active polygamy. Then they're like, oh, well, you won't be able to see your kids. Also, they don't live in the state, so. They don't live in the state. I know. But they were talking, they kept talking about how they would be felons. And I thought, well, Mary wouldn't. Yeah. Uh, which is sad. But it's like, you know, that's just the case. Anyway, um, so it looks like the whole storyline is, 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 I mean, it's. Boring. Just, it's just, well, they're, I mean. Terribly boring. Well, we say that about every episode, so. Well, anyway. But at least they've crammed this. 15 minute episode into a whole hour instead of two. Yeah, so that, I guess they're getting, getting pushed out by uh, the, the 90 days juggernaut that is that is constant, the before, the after, the during, the, the rehash, the reunion, the watch parties. Anyway, okay, we will see you later. Maybe.